hey guys how you all doing so you can find lots of videos on how you can install dating CSS into your project okay you will find lots of articles and videos about how you can use it install it and do all sorts of things but what if you have to reset dating CSS or just not use it in into your into any of your pages how are you are you how are you going to do that so the basic approach would be to just use a CDN everywhere and don't use CDN in one div or one one page, but that's not the right solution. Okay, let me just show you exactly what I'm talking here. Okay, so suppose you have a one div that is with re with tailwind, and there's another one where I do not want to use tailwind CSS. Okay, no. Tailwind. Okay, so right now it is working on both. So let me just show you. Okay, as you can see here, both classes are getting affected with Tailwind. Even if I remove the classes in Tailwind, the text is still not the same like like you see in the HTML without Tailwind CSS. So in this video we are going to talk about how you can use Tailwind into some of your project and reset Tailwind CSS into some of your, um, some of your pages or div. Okay. So there are actually three ways you can do it. Okay. So the first and most basic way is by using Tailwind's prefix. So what prefix does is it, it creates a prefix into all your all your classes. So if you do this, this. So what will happen is unless until you don't write tw in front of all your tailing classes, it won't work. So suppose I have did this and did this. So as you can see here that it is getting affected but this is not getting affected because we have added a prefix here that's why you can restart or whatever but it won't work because we are using prefix here so you can use this as a thing but it is still not very applicable uh, very perfect another way you can do it is you can create a iframe tag okay so I have this thing let me show you so you can use this and inside that you can use this div so actually it won't work with tailwind CSS so you can write basic normal HTML like with tailwind Sorry. No. so what it will do is it will create a iframe tag and in iframe tag Tailwind doesn't support iframe so it won't affect your dips and anything any classes so this is the second way and the third way is using a package which I have found this is a really cool package so basically you have to First, do an npm install or yarn add whatever you prefer. Just click on npm install. Tailwind CSS dash all. Basically, what it does is it creates all the classes. It removes all the classes that Tailwind CSS applies. Okay. So, for example, if Tailwind smooths this font, I mean, if Tailwind changes this font to this, this package does the exact uh, opposite. Okay so it is it is installed now all you have to do is just add this as a plugin into our tailwind config so this yeah that's it now all you have to do is just use 
its own class that is all dash initial into any of our react project so for example right now let's first of all let's remove the prefix for now and remove this as well so, okay so he, in both classes Tailwind is working so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write all initial which comes from that package okay so as you can see that Tailwind is not working here in this div Tailwind is Tailwind is not affected on, on this div so so far this these two are the matching these two are what you I think what you are looking for and the best I would say the best solution would I would say is the, using this package I really like this guys package so yeah this was it thank you for watching